Hey guys, it's Megan. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I decorated my sketchbook cover and added pockets. I recently finished my other sketchbook and I'll be doing a sketchbook tour tomorrow. So make sure to subscribe and to turn on the bell if you want to see that. And I would like to thank Arteza for sending me this sketchbook to review. They also sent me some of these fine liner pens. They just sent me the products. They're not paying me to do this video, but I'll have everything linked in the description. So without further ado, let's just get into the video. The first step to decorating my sketchbook cover was to take the cover off. And I didn't actually know this before, but you can take the cover off of the spiral bound sketchbooks. This will work with any brand of sketchbook that has this sort of gap in between the spirals. I have other sketchbooks from Strathmore and Canson, and they both have this same sort of spiral, so you can take the covers off of those sketchbooks as well. I started decorating my sketchbook by putting a layer of black paint on the front cover. Next, I used a combination of pink, black, purple, blue, light blue, and white paint, and created a galaxy effect on the cover by using a sponge brush. I know that this is super predictable, and you guys are probably like, Megan, it's not 2012, like, you don't need to be painting a galaxy, but I just really like the look of galaxies, so I decided to paint one. I just placed the colors randomly when painting a galaxy, but I know some people like to do some sort of pattern to it. To bring everything together, I painted on a layer of this Crayola glitter paint that I got at Target. I decided to write the word create on the cover, which now that I think about it, this is way too similar to my create this book, but oh well. I just sketched the word out with a pencil and then I went over it with a paint pen. I used some white acrylic paint and a small paintbrush to paint on some stars. I made the stars more concentrated in the lighter areas and more far apart in the darker areas. When that was dry, I flipped the front cover over and then I painted the inside a light purple. For the back cover, I didn't do anything too fancy, I just painted the front and the back of it with a light purple. So once everything was dry, I moved on to making the pocket. I measured how tall that I wanted my pocket to be, I decided that I wanted it to be 5 inches tall, and how wide it should be. I made mine 5 and a quarter inches wide. For reference, my sketchbook is 5 and a half by 8 and a half inches. I decided to use scrapbook paper, but any type of thicker paper will work. First, I made a mark 5 inches below the top edge of the paper. Then, I made a mark 3 centimeters away from the left edge of the paper, and then I drew a line there. I made a mark 5 inches away from the line that I just drew, and then drew another horizontal line. I made another mark 3 centimeters away from the line that I just drew, and then connected those with a line. I drew another line 1 centimeter below the big square. I made marks at 1 centimeter and 2 centimeters inside of the two rectangles on the side, and drew two lines dividing each of the side rectangles into three sections. When you're done, you should have something that looks like this. I cut this piece out, and then I used my Cricut scoring tool to score along the lines. If you don't have a scoring tool, you can just press down really hard with an old pen or pencil. This step isn't 100% necessary, but it definitely makes folding easier. After that, I cut off the corners so that it would look nicer when the pocket is folded. To fold the pocket, first take the bottom edge and fold it up. Then, take the side edge and fold it in, and then fold it like an accordion. Fold the other side the same way, first folding it in, then out, and then in again. Here's what the back of the pocket should look like when you're done, and here's what the front should look like. Now it's time to glue the pocket into the sketchbook. So first, take the bottom edge and put some glue on it. I decided to use wood glue because I thought that it would be a little bit stronger. Press the bottom edge of the pocket onto the bottom edge of the sketchbook cover. You can use a paper towel to wipe off any excess glue. After holding that in place for a few minutes, I put some glue along the edges and then I pressed that down onto the sketchbook cover. Again, I made sure to hold that in place for a few minutes to make sure that it was extra secure. I wanted to decorate this a little bit more, so to do that I added this astronaut sticker and I put a strip of washi tape at the top of the page. I then used letter stickers to spell out my name at the top. I put a star sticker on either side of my name, and then here's how the finished page turned out. I reattached the front and back covers the same way that I took them off, just sliding them back onto the spiral. And here's how my finished sketchbook turned out. I really love the idea of adding a pocket, and I might end up adding another one in the back. This is great for holding loose pages like this phone case design that I made. As you can see, I already started filling out this sketchbook. I actually just posted another 5 ways to fill your sketchbook video yesterday. The back cover is pretty simple, but I still really like how it turned out. 
I've been thinking about designing stickers for like Redbubble or something, and if I do that, I'll probably end up getting some and putting them on the back. So here are today's shoutouts. If you want a shout out in my next video, go on to my 5 ways to fill your sketchbook video that I just posted and comment what your favorite drink is. Mine is probably either tea or diet soda. So thank you guys so so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up and as always make sure to subscribe for more videos just like this one and make sure to follow me on Instagram and TikTok, they are both at WellerMegs. And yeah, I love you guys so so much and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye!